Here we are with Adita Kornek from Tui Hotels and Resorts. We are at uh, Bari, uh, by Puglia, Fiera del Levante. I would like to ask you, Mr. Kornek, uh, which is the business model of uh, Tui Hotels and Resorts? Yes, we have been uh, well known in the past uh, as a tour operator, but uh, we are already operating more than 380 hotels worldwide. Uh, a lot of them are Rio hotels because we have a joint venture with Rio, but also our core brands like uh, Club Robinson, Club Magic Life, and Tui Blue. Uh, we have at the moment uh, half of all these hotels are owned by us, the others are management or lease contracts, so we do normally no franchise contracts. Our model changes a little bit because we want to have now asset light as we want to develop uh, very much in the future in existing countries but also in new countries. And that's why we are focusing a little bit more on lease or long-term operational contracts, also like management contracts, depending on the destination. And which is the potential of Italia market, which is your development plan here in Italy? In Italy, we currently only operate four hotels on our own. So we see a, a huge potential in Italy in developing uh, much more hotels in the future, especially in the south of Italy, like Puglia, Calabria, Sardinia, Sicily, where we can imagine to do some more Tui Blue hotels, of course, but also Club Magic Life. We have signed now a contract for Magic Life in Calabria. It was the ex-Club uh, Med, uh, close to, Pistigi, uh, close to uh, uh, Pizzo. And uh, we also have plans to do something with Club Robinson, uh, also in Calabria. And uh, hopefully also in Puglia we can uh, sign some contracts. So we see a potential of at least another 10 to 15 hotels in the future. 10 to 15, a good number. And uh, what about city hotels? Uh, only uh, sea resorts or also city Normally we, hotels? Normally we are looking for beach destinations, frankly speaking. So city hotels is not our main focus. In Italy could be a little bit different because there are a lot of cities with a huge potential of tourists, like Venezia, of course, and Firenze. But uh, normally, at the moment, we're concentrating and focusing on our beach destinations in the south, but maybe also some alpine destinations in uh, the Dolomiti or Alto Adige region. Thank you very much and have you a nice day here in Bari. Thank you. You're welcome.